All right, so I know I put off making videos for a while, but to be honest, it's been like negative degrees outside. It's been cold as shit, and I just haven't really like done anything to the car other than maintenance stuff, but I finally got my first mods, well, mods, and I'm super excited to show you guys. So let's go check out and see what we got. Alright, so I'm currently on my way to work. We're going to pick up a couple parts that I had delivered there. I'd have them delivered by apartment, but I don't live in like the greatest area ever, so we're just gonna have them uh, picked up at work. And then I think before we go, we're gonna go get some Chick fil A breakfast. So let's do that, and then we'll go check out what we got. It's a great day at Chick fil A. How can I help you? Hi, can I get two chicken burritos without the hash browns in those? Okay. And that's it. Can I have a name for the order? Michael. All right, thank you. Chick-fil-A a long time ago used to not put hash browns in their burritos and now they do for some reason which I never understood why because why would you put hash browns in the burrito and then if you get a meal give them on a side as well. It just doesn't make sense. So I just order them without the hash browns. I don't think it's weird but whatever. Chick-fil-A breakfast. Whew, underrated bro. Underrated. That salsa is so fire man. All right bag has been acquired. Let's eat. And after I'm done eating, I'll kind of go through like what the plans for the car, like the parts that I have, all that type of stuff too. All right, so one of the first things that we got is big old Koyo Rad and Mishimoto fans. Now the fans aren't really 100% necessary for like upgrading coolant related stuff, but the radiator is one of the things that I recommend replacing first on a Subaru just because of the issues that they have with the stock radiator. All right, so one of the reasons I recommend upgrading your radiator is because our, our cooling systems are kind of prone to failure. And I've seen this in a couple different Subarus now, but if you take a look at like the upper neck on the radiator here, see if I can get it to focus. You can kind of see it has a little bit of corrosion there around where the hose connect. And a lot of time it could cause those upper like radiator inlet tubes to crack and break and then all of a sudden you start have overheating issues head gasket fails um, happens with the lower outlet tubes as well so that's why we decided to upgrade and yeah get the silicone hoses and everything else done at the same time all right so we got all the parts back in my apartment so now I could kind of tell you about like everything else that I have like laying here in these boxes I know a lot of people talk shit about the Mishimoto fans but I personally never had a problem with any of the cars that I've run them on so we're gonna run those a lot of people say the stock fans are better but i honestly like i haven't had a bad experience so we just went with those now one thing that i'm super excited for is this guy right here so let's go ahead and unwrap it So what we have ourselves here is the Killer B Dual Coolant Overflow and Windshield Washer Reservoir Tank. Now the reason I'm so excited about this thing is it's going to free up a lot of the engine bay space and make it a little bit easier to do spark plugs and just work around the engine bay in general. It's also gonna make a little bit more room for front mount intercooler piping when we decide to do that in the future. That's one thing is that I've decided that I wanna do with the car. I'm not sure which brand I wanna go with yet, but it's gonna make that just a little bit easier. And this aluminum piece that Killer B makes, in my opinion, is just a little bit better looking than some of the other coolant expansion options that some of the other companies offer like Cobb and that sort of thing. So that's why I decided to go with this guy. Now, the other thing that I'm excited about for is that Killer B coolant and washer reservoir. As you can see here, you kind of see what I was talking about with the two piece reservoir system where it gets too much fluid in it, the clip breaks, and then all of a sudden you get a reservoir that doesn't work. So the reservoir is gonna take up both of those and combine it into one and it's going to mount to that stock coolant reservoir location there and then it'll free up a little bit of space it'll look really nice because it's aluminum so really excited to get that guy in once we have that done then i can actually fix my motor because i believe that it's broken right now so i've just been waiting until we get that replaced to fix that but yeah it'll be ought to be really good then to go along with those i've also picked up some mishimoto silicone hoses we picked those up in red to match the car now, the last thing that I picked up was the Coil Rad radiator cap to match the new Coil Rad that we got. And then also the IBR Cylinder 4 cooling mod for the car too. Now, normally I would tackle on the challenge of doing this myself, but I'm to actually taking the car to get the timing belt and other things done on Monday, which is now currently two days 
from today. And my buddy Sam over at Subi Solutions is actually going to be doing the timing belt for that car. So at the same time, he's also going to throw on the new radiator and fans and all the other jazz that we have. Now, after all that's done and we pick the car up, then we're going to be going into full maintenance mode. So we'll be doing spark plugs. Uh, I got another oil change coming up soon. We got to do the gear oil soon. I'd like to get the modal, but it's still on back order for whatever reason. So that'll probably be in the next video of doing like the maintenance type stuff. And then come around this summertime, we can actually get into modifying the car. I already kind of have an idea of what exhausts I want to do. I already kind of have an idea of what color I want to wrap, what color wheels, what type of wheels, all that sort of stuff. So I'm really excited for what I have planned for this car for you guys. Other than that, though, I don't have anything too crazy planned for the car. It is going to be my daily driver for a little bit. I say that now, but... We'll see what happens down the road. I would like to get another car so that way I have a little bit more freedom to work on things, start other projects and that sort of stuff, but we'll see what happens. So if you guys want to stay tuned, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys when we take the car for timing tomorrow.